Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So after finishing the final boss in Jade's quest, which is the Silver Illusion, um, you can go over to the uh, lady here in Space Time Rift and upgrade Jade to 5 star. So you can see the requirements there. The Kingpin Tome comes automatically when you finish the quest. And there you have it, 5 star Jade. Nice! Stop flexing, Dad. Now, after this, we have to head back to IDA school for some unfinished business. This hidden quest of sorts begins at the IDA school Sky Terrace. Note that I don't believe you can start it without having finished Jade's personal quest and battles. Now we first run into Foran, and she gives Aldo a device for taking pictures of Jade. Apparently, he's the hottie that all the girls at school are after. It'll make sense, I guess. Tall, brooding, handsome, and mysterious. What's not to like? Later on, I'll have to ask Gamer Mom when I do his 5-star review video and see what she has to say about him. After this, if you continue exploring through the idea school, you'll see another white exclamation point. I do find that this is the easiest way to discover hidden elements in the game, although uh, some don't even have exclamation marks, like the adamantium weapons. If you haven't crafted those two weapons, make sure you search my channel on videos on how to get them. They are actually quite powerful, even in the mid game. Um, I'm not sure about the super end game because, um, you know, with the advent of manifest battles, you might not require these weapons. However, hey, more weapons are great and helps unlock uh, gold awards as well. So this second part begins at IDA school second floor and you have to go in alone with Jade. You have to travel through space and time to uh, a point of Rakiana Sands in the past. At this point, there is a short battle, and if you check out this fight, uh, the boss will do a 99999 hit after three turns unless you end it early. I think this boss actually does the most damage I've ever seen in this game. I think most of them only do five nines, and this one does, I don't know, a ton of nines. Now, how do you do that, you might ask, especially since you are fighting Jade uh, with Jade by himself. Well, don't fail like me, and just use a couple of ability points, and you should have at least 7, because if you've leveled him up to a level 60, um, you know, you would have 7 leftover points, and you can use them right away and acquire his 5-star first move, the one right after the 4-star board. You won't need his second move for this. If you use that move right away, the battle ends. After all that, Jade meets someone in the past, who we have now met in the future. So I won't spoil it for you, you can continue watching on uh, to see uh, what happens, but I will say I was quite surprised. As you continue and finish up this quest, you'll learn more about this character and that tie-in to Jade. I certainly wasn't disappointed, and I hope you won't be either. For all your troubles in finishing this hidden quest, you do get Jade's um, personal grass done, which actually enhances his abilities and stats quite a bit. And so I will also touch on that when I do his 5 star review um, in the near future. Like most storyline videos, I'm going to stop talking now and let you watch the rest of the video in peace. Anyways, thanks for watching! We'll see you next time!